And good afternoon, everybody. We are about halfway into our tournament here. 64 people, 599 and under. A little bit of a hectic day for a tournament director. It's only me running it today. Match here, we got uh, Jay Seafeld versus Louise Ruiz. Jay is a 543 Fargo. Ruiz is a 559 Fargo. This is a race to six, the A side matchup. Checking our comments here. You can uh, put a link in here for the brackets. You can follow along at home. Rack number two. Thanks, Jake. Appreciate it. Or link to our brackets here. If it doesn't work, let me know. I believe everything should be fine. Jay to break here. Made a ball and a wing ball there. So for this particular tournament, we did not use the 200 robustness. Because there are a lot of players in the Philly area who don't have Fargo ratings. I have to give them an outlet to be able to play. And a lot of the players that are in here use a league conversion. Or essentially me and a bunch of tournament directors that are running tournaments on a regular C player speeds. We were able to speed everybody, determine whether or not they would be able to in the tournament or not. A little update on the score. Roseanne Dahl just won five to four over Greg Palacino. Roseanne is our only female in the tournament. Foot and foot to AS all day. We added a couple of rules for this tournament too that we don't normally do in some other tournaments. We have an hour and a half shot clock, which means that an hour and a half, if somebody in the match is not on the hill, then they go to a 30 second shot clock. We're racking the two. We're supposed to be racking the two in the back. I'm not sure if everybody's remembering it or not. As long as nobody's really complaining, just, you know, to kind of make sure there's no pattern racking going on. Sit there by the He's up to the table here. He's got two ball. Okay position, but he's kind of jacked up a little bit. Side pocket there. Got a little bit of room to maneuver there. Get back down for that ball. Kind of overstroked it just a little bit. He made it, he would have had an, an okay caught shot on the floor.
They can see, he just has to get it back down the table. I need a little bit of high, high left, maybe catch about at an inch or two before the two ball. Kind of let it roll around the table there, like that. Get the right speed. Kind of let this go behind the five. So I don't have to come drawing it down the table. Got yourself a tough angle there. I haven't really seen Jay play. Yeah, it was like an inside stroke here, like a low left. Pop it in that bottom right corner. And side left rail, bottom rail, side right rail. Back down to the six. Incoming player, Louise is going to have ball in hand. Should have that seven right side there. Little simple roll the eight there into the side. Got the nine there should be going up two nothing here in this match. Right, Louise takes a 2 nothing lead going into this match and a race to six. Being joined here today with uh, my good buddy here, Andre White, on the stream here. Him and I are going to be doing your commentating. What's up, Dre? Hello, good people. Dre decided to wake up after his. Uh, no, it, it his, wasn't his night. Wonderful debauchery. night out. But uh, no, I had to stop past the. Uh, remember, APA Women's League was today. Yes, sir. So you know we got to make sure we show everybody the same and proper amount of uh, attention. My wife's currently there right now, waiting for her to get back. Yeah, I took off work for this. I'm having a wonderful time somebody's already. Somebody's got to get these. Glad to be. Somebody's got to go get these balls off the table. I ain't walking all the <laughs> way down the other end. But it's. 50,000 foot pool hall. As long as we've got bluegrass uh, billiards here in 9490 Bluegrass Road. If you're in the area, come by. There are also triple shim pool tables for your enjoyment. Even got a little little table here for sale, too, if anybody's interested. Really? A little six foot table for your basement. And I got a three cushion table here, interested, too. I was just down there running a couple of racks with the buddy. Uh, it was a good time. We played on the triple shim table. Those pockets are super tight. We used to break here. Rack number three up to nothing. He spread it out pretty good there, but it was Gerard. We're using magic racks today. I don't mind those racks. I like I them. They make me think, makes me think we're really in the pros here. I see in the background here with the Dinosphere balls. Yeah, I like, I like the Dinosphere those. banner. Supplying us with uh, integrity Q supplying us with 20 brand new sets of balls for this matchup. Just a little bit outside.
We always want to shout out Integrity Cues and Chris Sides for doing the best work on our pool sticks whenever we need it. Come on by and check him out. little bit off camera you guys can't see but uh over in the chairs i'm telling you everybody's uh they're tense everybody's got their game face on here today they did not come to play around that was a very nice safe let's see what he can kick at that Hopefully make contact. And a miscue. Sir, chalk is free. Well, maybe not free, but you didn't pay for it. Let's pull it together. Giving up a ball in hand in that situation had to be hurtful. <clears throat> Oh, that looks like a predator chalk. Maybe he did pay for that chalk. I'm not sure if they're doing the three foul rule there, Jake, but uh, I will definitely have to ask Frank when he comes back. Not enough to really get good on the three here. But we'll see what man bun has to do. I got confident. Both of these guys are really good players. They wouldn't even be here if they were. Good contact, good contact, nice hit. But unfortunately he left it wide open for his opponent. Let's see how this works out for him. And it, it worked out in his favor. Frank, Frank, the, yes, the, sir, I'm back. they wanted to know, are we doing a three foul rule here? We are doing three foul rule. Well, then that young man has won against him this rack already. Let's see how this works out. We got a lot of action over here. We got a definite, some, uh, definite action here on table 13. And that Russian was a Kenny's, wonderful safe. Russian Kenny's over here playing. A guy named Where's Freddy the Flowers. right? And I didn't see him. Literally right there in front of you. I knew that. I was testing yeah. you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's literally 10 feet from <laughs> me. <laughs> Use any clothes or I have to smell them. So three foul rule in effect. Okay. I wonder are the players counting because clearly we can't remind them that, well, that was a three no, foul. Part of the part of the rules, they have to remind the other. You yeah, have to you remind have to remember. Too. That's just one of the part of it being chess, not checkers. You got to be mindful of what's going on and then keep up with it. Moving along pretty well today. This tournament, sixty-four people. Double elimination. Great part about this tournament, everybody that was involved, is everybody was already prepaid walking in the door. So it was literally walk in, grab a set of balls, and start hitting. 
<laughs> he said, grab a set of balls. <laughs> well, safe up situation here. Probably just play a stop shot, leave it behind a nine. Or the seven, either one works. Oh, left himself a lane out, didn't want to hit that eight. Yeah, but that was... That wasn't bad. He's been doing pretty good all day with the uh, safes and stuff. Oh, he's been playing pretty well. No, oh, that's what I'm saying. When you were away, he did a couple of really nice safe shots. One didn't work out so well, but, you know, everybody's coming along. I wonder if he's looking at this 3-8 combo. That's a five ball there, buddy. Five eight combo, excuse <laughs> me. And he nailed it. I think he was looking at it. Not the greatest leave, but let's see what he can make happen. He can work with it. Yeah, Mr. Man Bun is on top of his game today, baby. JC felt playing pretty well today. We got a A side final over here. Kevin Scalzitti. One six to three. Over Ron Atzer. Ron will go to the B side. Kevin he will move on. It. Some updates and some scores here. Ethan Drogue is up 2 1 on Chris Chalaj. Roseanne Dahl is up, or I'm sorry, Roseanne Dahl is tied 1 1 with Brian Aurora. Justin Grieber and Nick Mill are tied 4 4, both of my horses. Wonderful. Kyle Coleman is up 3 2 on Joe McAnally. Danny Bertel and Carlo, Carlo Fabretto were tied up 1 1. Brandon Nash and Dan Kalodny are tied up 1 1. Gavin Umberger up 1 0 over Frank Barkalo. Was playing real well today. Jeff Horvath is up. I'm sorry. Jeff Horvath is losing to Tim Leader three to two right now. Uh, we just had another finish. Uh, Edward Edward Mejia won six to five over Barnes Hutchins. That'll move on into the A side. Barnes will move on to the B side. Back to the magic rack. Matches here we can send out. Do you prefer that over the traditional rack? I love the magic rack. I break heavy, so I like I like being able to, to take a little bit off of it and uh, make some balls. And some matches here. I don't mind it, but it seems a little tedious to me. Yeah, I can rack I can rack a magic rack rack quicker than I can with a triangle. Buzz. Not last. I've seen you rack before. You've so. never seen me rack in your life. I've seen you rack. You're That's so lies. good at it. <laughs> Boy, are you good at it. You are good at racking. If you're you... following the brackets at home, follow this next matchup I've just sent out. It's uh, Jersey Mars, Marcelo Adenafi versus Edward Mejia. An A-side matchup. It's on table 12. Running a little fast on the one A side matchup here. Uh, Bonnie, yep. B side starting to catch up a little bit. Right comes comes home to the uh, commentator here, like bull in China shop, just knocking everything over. Oh yeah, that's kind of my thing. Let's knock all this crap over. I'm not all this shit up.
Feel Let's free to here. feel free to pull up the bluegrass billiards. Get your pro am t shirts. We have them on. I only have two left. That means you better hurry. A three X and a two X. You have one left because <laughs> I do not have my shirt yet. I, I, awkwardly enough, I was talking to I was talking to Snoop last night, and as I'm calling her, she's standing right next to you. Yeah. If you don't know, Snoop's our shirt our shirt girl, ELB, ELB Designs, designs. Which makes yep. a great product for us. Give a little shout out to our newly signed pro player, Brianna Miller. Hey. She's down there uh, in Maryland today doing her JP Newt tour. Uh, check in on her in a little bit, see what she's uh, doing. Because you don't know, Brianna's third ranked in the country, 37 ranked in the world, according to Fargo. Pretty damn well. And she will put her foot to your backside. On purpose. Trying to pull up the bracket down there. It's not working. Match up here. We still got going on. Back, off. Back to being a bull in a china yeah, shop. Bull in a china I'm, shop here. I'm knocking everything over on the table. That was an excellent safe spot. Stream table six foot wide, two medium to large size men sitting at it does not care well for us, <laughs> especially in big gamer chairs that we're sitting in for comfortability. Yes, I am so comfortable, sir. I appreciate the accommodation. Break always make sure as I have a good spot, good comfortable chair. There's always libations flowing freely. We got 50 tables here at Bluegrass, and I'd say about 47 of them are being used right now at 4 o'clock, 4.15 in the afternoon. And it is super sunny outside. It was raining earlier today, but... Of course it was. I washed my car yesterday. Yeah, but I wanted to take my car to the car wash so bad today. They're doing road work on our street, so... Shout out PennDOT. Keep yes. you employed. That dust is like so thick on it. And then when it rained, it was like mud. And a two rail kick here, a little bit of inside English. I think he might just gotta avoid that six. Ooh. Ah. We've got a couple little guys in the house here today. A little nine year old kid over here running and he's running probably ass. Do you see he's him? running balls, legit Yo, running he balls. He is running wrecks. He is not to be trifled. I'd say he's with. probably a three fifty four hundred Fargo already. No problem. <laughs> and I'm being serious about that too. I am too. I he was watching well. him. I was playing at the table right behind him, just running wrecks with a friend of mine down there. And uh I I was watching. Got the young man Ethan Drogue in the tournament today. Ethan plays real well, playing juniors for a while. Sponsored by Tascarella Q's. I snatched him up in the auction. How old is he? Forget how old. And one of them guys, when I smack, when I snatch you up in the auction, I don't bother you. I leave you alone. Right. If you look like you're doing good, I don't bother you. If you look like you're doing bad, I bring you over a drink. But I can't bring, I don't yeah. think I can bring him over a drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that why you always bring me drinks exactly. when I'm playing? <laughs> oh, we know I'm not that good. Follow me on Instagram at billiard.bum. <laughs> the bum is, uh, is capitalized. Yes. For emphatic reasons. Yes. And he is Frank the pool player. Nope, actually it's changed now to PA Pro-Am. You're no longer Frank the I rep the company, bro. Come on. You're supposed to make a different one. No, rep the company. I got to go back and re you know, bring all them people back over. I ain't trying. You're automatically going to follow pro -Am. Hello. Yeah, true. But... It looks like uh, Ruiz is 
Louise's Louise Ruiz. I think. Louise oh, Ruiz. I was about to say he's maybe about to go up three one, but looks ah, like he left it a shot. little tight there. What would be your shot in a position in a to like smash it? Huh? Smash it really hard. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what? Uh, so I'm, I'm I'm gonna get the bridge. I'm gonna cut it to the bottom right. I mean, I'm gonna hit it firm. So if I miss it, hopefully it winds up more into the you know on the bottom round. I leave the cue ball at the top. Okay. Now for me, I would punch. I would softly shoot it directly into the rail and leave the cue ball on top. This is what's good about us because you're a seven. I'm a three. You're good. We don't hold. We don't talk about league ranks here, sir. Talk about our Fargo ratings. I apologize. Okay. Or our our A our A B C D ratings. Okay. Well, I am two ninety (laughs) nine and under. (laughs) (laughs) And that was an that was an amazing shot by Luis. He really stuck it and did not scratch. We got a final over here, Justin Grieber. Pulls out a 5-4 win over Nick Mill. Justin's going to go on to the next round. That's from Sending out some more uh, B side matchups here. B side moving along just a little bit. Little match is kind of lagging behind. I don't like to get too far on the A side. I don't like to let those guys sit too long. I have to keep the tournament running pretty smooth at the same time. Uh, Louise Ruiz back up to bat. Let's see what he's working with, baby. And another excellent safe. He can jump at him. Keep forgetting that this is Fargo. Oh, Far- not Fargo's, what I'm used to. Fargo's in that. So Dre, Dre's got a, a league background, APA league background. Right. And uh, Dre's been wanting to step out more and get himself into a, a wider world of it, of pool, not just kind of cornholed in the APA and, and league play. So I, obviously, as being one of my favorite people in the world, I invited him along for the ride here. Um, and I'm loving every minute of it. My seatbelt is on. Yeah, Just yeah. a little bit outside. She had a little clear path. I'm not surprised. I, I didn't think you could hit it. Check out the bracket and the results here. See where we're at here. Yeah, I forgot. By this being uh, Fargo, Pro Am International. Not international yet. That, that lady didn't. There. That lady didn't show up. She actually had to. She actually had to stay home that week. Oh, we we're almost international. Almost week. international. We're working on it. We are multi-state though. We had thirteen different states represented last week in our tournament. Around what time do we start using the shot cam? Not yet. Still a little early for the shot game. Don't give me that disgusted look. You stayed home last night. I want out. Who stayed home last night? You said you stayed home. I did not stay (laughs) home. (laughs) My Snapchat said otherwise. (laughs) (laughs) Give a little special thanks to our good friend here, Jen Tully, who's taking care of us today. She's doing a lot of stuff for PA Pro-Am. 
walking I'm around talking good there baby walk around getting herself some matches and a little action earlier pulled up pulled out a few dollars right did you get a little action earlier baby you got an action yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool yeah, egg. Egg. yeah, she's not even on it. She says, Say it, hi it to the people. It. Say hi to the people. Lean on in here. She says she's innocently bystanding, and I don't see an innocent cell in her face. Later on, after the tournament's done, we're going to take all these matches that we're live streaming. Um, what I was saying is, uh, when this tournament's over, we're going to take our uh, our matches here that we are live streaming. We're going to edit them and put it on uh, our YouTube channel. And this way, each match will have its own uh, clickable link. Make sure that you... Uh, like, click, and subscribe. All the players that are in the tournament, I usually tag them on it. This way they uh, know what their matches are at. They can show other people. I kind of figured out since he has the same last name as the player playing. They're really cute. Yeah. Bowling China shop all day. It's not right unless you're knocking stuff over, baby. You got to let them know you're in the building. You didn't come to play. They try to catch that seven, kind of hold it there. Not too much of a shot here, but he had caught that rail, caught that seven. He had a nice little safe there. I mean, it's it's not a bad safe. It's got just not a ball here. in hand. So it's just not a ball in hand. So. My man, Tim Leader going through today. What's when, he at now? He just won his match 5-2 over Jeff Horvath. Okay, Tim, kick ass. Tim Leader told me about three months ago he wants to get better. I said, well, why don't you come out to my tournaments? He might not win, but it's going to help you play better. He's been to every one since. Doing pretty well today. He plays on one of my uh, sister teams. Yeah, he plays out of one of your bars. Out of the. Huh? Plays out of. Uh, he has a team out of the Rotten Monkey. I'm on. Uh, also on on one of their AP teams. So. Uh, they left Louise Ruiz wide open. Three to five, six to seven, they're all lead to each other here. Right to it. Just a little center ball here, trying to get himself in the middle of the table. Do some match updates. Ethan Drogues up four to one over Chris Chalaj. Beautiful, beautiful. Brian Aurora was up four to one over Roseanne Dahl. A little too much on it, but I think he can uh, back cut that in. Hill Hill here, Joe McAnally, Kyle Coleman.
Uh, we got a uh, Seafeld here, Got ready to get out. Got to keep the keep the rock from the side pocket there. Ooh. Yeah, Louise made a very unfortunate scratch, gave him ball in hand. But he is back up to bat right now. Swing, batter, batter, swing. Nice. And they got away from a little bit, though. Yeah, he put a little too much mustard on it. I tried to maybe come backwards a little bit. What do you think? I like the cut. I just cut it. <laughs> yeah, I, I just cut it, cut it in the corner there. I've been censored. <laughs> He's going for the bank here. Oh, cut it again. Wait a minute. Ah, not the worst leave. That's makeable. It's definitely anything's makeable, but <clears throat> center ball just a little high. Cuts it right in. You don't want to overstroke it. Though. You don't want to line up in the back pocket there. That's what she said. You don't want to overstroke. Um, Perfect. Nice shot. Uh -oh. Slow down. He's good. And man bun is back in business, baby. Let's go, Jay. We're here at the wonderful Bluegrass Billiards. 9490 Bluegrass Road, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. 50 plus tables. Full service bar, great food. And attractive bartenders and waitresses. Yeah, I mean, it helps. Turn to that, I mean, that definitely helps. I want to thank our stream sponsor here, Player's Choice. Lou Gagliano does all of our tables here. Fantastic job. Yeah, he's got that triple shim table down there up to snuff. That thing, if you're not hitting it right, that table will let you know. Come down to Bluegrass and play a couple of racks on that. We just got uh, our bolts of Simonis in. We're going to start refelting everything here. Our in house key repair is Chris Sides. Junior's key repair he offers the highest quality key repair and replacement. You give Chris a call 215 869 4261. He's been in and out of here all day, basically picking up cues, taking them back, repairing them, and bringing them right back to you. No job too small, no job too big. Rack number six, Louise up Jay three up to two here. Break. Jay up the break here, made a nice yeah. little spread. Yeah. Yeah. If he can get position, make this one and get position on a two, I don't see any obstacles. Do a little outside English here. Just come two rails. Too hard there. It is a full house in here today. Almost all of the tables are being utilized by either tournament or just people in here coming to run some racks and stay sharp. Beautiful day in bluegrass buildings. We're having a wonderful time, even though Frank won't initiate the shot can. Not yet. Not yet. Use your allotted your use your allotted words of uh your allotted times of wonderful in one power there. Four. Yeah. I have one I have good times, but not that great a time. I always have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of my thing. <laughs> Got a little safe battle here. You can kick it one rail. Right off that uh, that first dime in there, next to the bottom middle pocket, but inside of English, kind of hold it. Would that be your move? Depends. I mean, you could jump it too. Up, go for the hit. Jay's doing here. 
Reading your mind, buddy. Got a good hit. Yeah, nice hit on it. And, oh, I thought he could snag the two. He left Louise Ruiz wide open on the side pocket for the one. Sometimes I with the jump shot. I'm not, especially when you, when you have a, a long distance shot like that, it's hard to make it and kind of get yourself shaped. Even though the two's kind of hanging. Right. the shot there and he caught a titty that saved us caught on points here in professional pool sir like jay has got a straight on one here maybe pull it pull that ball down the table just a little bit between that nine and the uh nine and the four there Get himself a better shot on that two we got a match finish over here. Two match finishes. Joe McAnally's beating Kyle Cole Coleman. I'm sorry, five to four. Young Ethan Drogue won five to two over Chris Jalaj. Both of those guys will move on to the next round there. Next round matchup. I'm going to leave you here with Dre for a minute or two. I'll be right back, guys. Ha <laughs> ha, I am unleashed. Are you ready for this? Coming to you live from Bluegrass Billiards. We are here for all the debauchery. As we look around the room, there are serious faces at every turn. Wonderful shot. The man bun is on attack, looking to even it up. 3-3, three, three, race to six. Louise Ruby. A stop shot. Oh, shank. He may have uh, left himself with a nice safe. From where we're sitting, it's a little hard to see that. Doesn't look like. Attempt at a kick shot. Like he may have left him snookered. Oh, yeah, you got him stuck again. This is really chestnut checkers here today, ladies and gentlemen.
Nice kick shot. Good hit. Ah, ball in hand. Ruiz, Ruiz getting ready to go 4-2 if he can pull off this last shot. It's Man Bun J.C. Phil. And he made it happen. Did you come back with scores, Frank? And look on some of these guys' faces when they use this magic rack. Some look confused, some look comfortable the magic rack now available at blue brass billiard and we welcome right, back. back frankie baby Just had to go through and uh, referee a few calls real quick. Whatever makes your day go faster, sir. Update the scores here. It's up four to two here on Jay. Everybody's having a We got a. Let me take a look at the shot here. Get our fingers on the uh, instant replay ready, just in case he makes it. Good shot. And he did. He put a little sport on it too. Uh, replay. We got a. Let me take a look at the shot here. Get our fingers on the uh, instant replay ready. Oh. The guy was too slow on it. Cut it off. <laughs> Long as they know he made it, he put a little sport on it. Yep. And he left himself a little yeah, tough the on the. He left the himself a little tough shots. on the on the on the two ball. But that's the problem with the jump shots. When you make it, sometimes you don't always get yeah, shape. Get on a little shot. top view in here so we can see what's happening. Got to spin it down. A lot of. Like seven o'clock English, a lot on left. Oh, oh, I just missed it. Just a little bit outside. 
Bob, Actually, you that'd be inside in. Oh, maybe oh, outside yeah, in. Just a little bit in. <laughs> Race to six, Louise Ruiz is up four to two against Man Bun JC Phil. Yeah, Louise, nice. Yep, Just nice. a little overshot on the three. Was... Kind of coming between the four and nine there. Got to stroke it really good. Uh, not enough mustard on it. Oh, man, man. You can see the frustration on his face after that. So that gives Jay an opportunity to get out here, make it four to three. What he's going to do is kind of just draw back here, get himself a nice angle on the four. Nice maybe snatch back on yeah, that. Maybe a little too far. Not too close to the rail. It's probably a little closer than he liked, but... It's farther away from the four than he wants to be. I need to go back about six inches. Play some center ball here. Come two rails back to the center of the table. Ah, uh, so worst it. possible outcome. Play this four on the side. There you go. A little bit of pull, maybe just slide to the right a little bit. I don't up. know. I'm thinking I may have went the opposite direction. That's perfect. Watch. That is perfect. Play, but I'm just saying. When he plays the five, he comes two rails down for the six in the corner. Or he can even go further. Come two and a half. You know, come two rails, come in between the six and the seven, shoot the six in the side pocket. Also go high and just come straight down the table if he's got the angle. Like that. Don't want to hit it though. Uh, he's still doing it though. Just make this. Make the seven. No, he's good. Side pocket for you. He's good. Just bottom left. Come two, maybe three rails. Play the seven in the same pocket. Went pretty good. Like Louise is poised to take himself a five to two lead here if he makes this nine ball. Yeah, he's doing he's shooting with a lot of confidence. Feeling good. And there we have it. Five Louise two goes up lead and a two, race to six. Up on the hill. Louise on the hill. Jay Man Bun Seafelt needs to catch up. We got Jay up to bet. Swing, better, better, swing. See if he can uh, make some headway here. Got a nice wing ball in the side. Uh, in the corner, rather.
taking his time, walking around the table. And where he's going to line this up at. Rail back to the two. Opsis in the side, nice and easy. Should have natural on the three. Big bounce. Right where you want to be. These Ruiz is on the hill here. Looks look like he has the intention of uh break and run. And he plays a very nice safe. Give us some top view, Frank. Yes, that is a nice safe. Looks like he may be able to hit it, but I'm not sure about making. Nice hit. The snookering looks that way. I'd have to bend the ball, baby. Little bank action. Leave could be worse. Not much, but could be. Nice. Gonna have to sneak past this five. Sneak past the five. It's open season. Rest of the table. Yep, sneak the five right in there. Didn't get quite as good on this uh, seven as he did. Clearly, no problems for him. Oh, that was beautiful. Nice. 
And if he can seal this deal, this is over. Louise Ruiz over JC felt race to six. Louise led six to 